Hello everybody, Bren here. Time for another Skyrim story time. And today we shall be reading the Armorer's Challenge by Mio Mathonis. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Three hundred years ago, when Katarev became Empress, the first and only Dunmer to rule all of Tamriel, she faced opposition from the Imperial Council. Even after she convinced them she would be the best regan to rule the Empire while her husband Pelagius sought treatment for his madness, there was still conflict, in particular from the Duke of Vengato, Thane of Mingilamere, who took a particular delight in exposing all of the Empress's lack of practical knowledge. In this particular instance, Katara and the Council were discussing the unrest in Black Marsh the massacre of imperial troops outside the village of Armain Armanias. The sodden swampland and the sweltering climate, particularly this in the summertime, would endanger the troops if they wore their usual armor. I know a very clever armor, said Kataria. His name is is Hazadar, an Argonian who knows the environments our army will be facing. I knew him in Vivac, where he was a slave to a, the master of armor there before he moved to the Imperial City as a freed man. We should have him design an armor and weaponry for the campaign. Min, Min Glumeyer gave a short barking laugh. She wants a slave to design the armor and weaponry for her troops? Silerius Sakius is the finest armor in the Imperial City. Everyone knows that. After much debate, it was finally decided to have both armorers contend for the commission. The council also elected two champions of equal power and prowess, Nadar B Birad and Raphael to battle using the arms and armaments of the, of the real competitors in the struggle. Whichever champion won, the armor supplied him, would earn the imperial commission. It was decided that Birad would be outfitted by Hazadir, in yell by Sakius. The fight was scheduled to commence in seven days. Serialist Sakius began work immediately. He would have preferred more time, but he recognized the nature of the test. The situation in Armanius was urgent. The Empire had to select their armor quickly, and once selected, the preferred armor had to act swiftly and oh sorry. Had to act quickly I'm sorry, and the preferred armor had to act swiftly and produce the finest armor and weaponry for the Imperial Army in the Black March. It wasn't just the best armor they was looking for, it was the most efficient. Sakias had only begun steaming the half-inch strips of, ver of black virgin oak to bend into bands of, of flanges of armor joints when there was a knock at his door. His assistant, Fendias, ushered in the visitor. It was a tall reptile of common markings of dull green inch hood, bright black eyes, and a dull brown cloak. It was Hazadir. Here, Katara's preferred armor. I wish to wet. I wanted to wish you the best of luck on the. Is that ebony? It was indeed. Sakias had bought the finest quality ebony weave available in the Imperial City as soon as he heard of the competition, and had begun the process of smelting it. Normally, it was a six-month procedure refining the ore, but he hoped that a massive con convection oven stoked by white flames born of magicka would shorten the operation at three days. Sakias proudly pointed out the other advancements to his armory, the acidic lime pools to sharpen the blade age of the die katas to an unimaginable degree of sharpness. The akaveri forge and tongs be used to fold the ebony back and forth upon some. Hazadar laughed. Have you been to my armory? It's two oh, tiny smoke-filled rooms. The front is a shop. The back is filled with broken armor and some hammers and a forge. That's it. That's your competition for the millions of gold pieces in the Imperial Commission. I'm sure the Empress has some reason to trust you to outfit her troops, said Sir Soraya Sekius kindly. He had, after all, seen the shop and knew what has... Uh, what Hazadar said was true. It was a pathetic workshop in the slums, fit only for the lowest, lowliest of adventurers to get their iron daggers and cuirasses repaired. Sakius had decided to make the best quality 
make the best quality regardless of the inferiority of his rival. It was his way and how he became the best armor in the Imperial City. Out of kindness, and more uh, than a bit of pride, Sakia showed Haz Hazar how, by contrast, things should be, should be done in a real professional armory. The Argonian act as an, act as an apprentice to Sakia, helping refine the ebony ore and pound it and fold it when it cooled. Over the next few days, they worked together to create a beautiful die katana with an edge honed sharp enough to trim a mosquito's eyebrows. Enchanted with flames along its length by one of the Imperial battle mages, as well as a suit of armor of bound wood, leather, silver, and ebony to resist the winds of oblivion. On the day of battle, Sakias has a door and F Diaz finished polishing the armor and brought to Raphia Seol to be fitting for the fitting. Hazar left only then realized that Nadar Bered would be at his shop, sh at his shop sh shortly to be outfitted. The two warriors met before the Empress and the Imperial Council in the arena, which had s and flooded slightly to s simulate the swampy conditions of the Black March. From the moment Sakia saw Yol in his suit of heavy ebony and blazing daikatana, and Bered in his collection of dusty, rusted lizard scale, and a spear from Hazar Shup, he knew who would win, and he was right. The first blow from the Dai Katana lodged into Bered's soft shield, as there was no metal trim to deflect it. Before El could pull his sword back, Bered let go of his now flaming shield, still stuck on the sword, and poked the joints of Eol's ebony armor of his spear. Eol finally retrieved his sword from the ruined shield and slashed at Bered. But his light armor was scaled and angled, and the attack rolled on to the, off into the water, extinguishing the Daikatana's flames. When Bered struck at Eol's feet, he fell into the churned mud and was a unable to move. The Empress, out of mercy, called the victor. Hazadar received the commission, and thanks to his knowledge of Argonian battle techs and weaponries, and how to best combat them, he began to design implements of war that brought down the insurrection of the Armanias. Katariba, Kataria won the respect of the council, and even grudgingly that of Thane Mini Glumia. Sirius Sikaeus went to learn, went to Morwen to learn what Hazadar learned from there, and was never heard from again. Gotta say, that was a very good story. Three. A tale of a tale that shows that even the lowliest of blacksmiths can still overcome the greatest works. So let me know what you think and if you, what other books you would want me to try and read or try and locate and read. Seriously, I, I want to do more of these, but I want to know what you guys want. So yeah, as always, I'm Brent Tenkage, and I will see you later.